And dozens of parents spoke out this week. They did against a controversial plan to put a cell tower next to a K through 8 school in Pasco County. The school board voted to approve the construction. As News Channel 8's Trevor Sohaki explains, supporters say not building the tower could have led to safety concerns for students and staff. That's right, Jen and Keith. The school is Starkey Ranch K-3 in Odessa, and the tower is protected to be near the track on the edge of campus. Many parents say the cell tower radiation is dangerous for their kids, while supporters say cell service needs to be improved in case of an emergency. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Nay. Nay. After nearly two hours of public comment, if there's any risk at all that the radiation admitted from these towers could cause even one child to be sick, that should be reason enough to just vote no. The Pasco County School Board approved a controversial plan to put a cell tower at Starkey Ranch K-8 School. The outcome, you know, was obviously very upsetting, but I also think the way in which they got to that vote was equally as disappointing. Erin Stroop is a Starkey Ranch resident. She has a daughter that'll go to the K-8 School in the fall. Her and hundreds of other parents oppose the cell tower. There are some pretty serious health risks that could be associated with the um, radiation that's emitted from the towers. But supporters say cell phone service is weak in and around the school, so much so that student safety could be at risk. And as a former teacher myself, I could not imagine not being able to communicate with the proper authorities, my peers, or admin during an emergency. During the board meeting, Superintendent Kurt Browning said he's worried about a school shooter. I would be much more concerned about an active threat on one of our campuses than I would my child, my grandchild, getting cancer from a cell tower. That shocked many parents. If he fully believes that putting a cell phone tower on the school campus is the best option for the school security, then what, is, what else has gone wrong here? The board voted three to two to approve the tower. And now that the board has approved the tower, I'm told the Pasco Board of County Commissioners has to approve the plans as well. No word yet on when that'll happen, but opponents say they will now try and convince those commissioners to vote no. Live in the Tampa News Center, Trevor Sahaki, 8 on your side.